Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here for my second video and today's video is all about my favourite products, makeup products, cosmetics, anything you basically buy from Superdrug, Boots, makeup stores. So, just want to say before I start this video, wow, the response I got to the first video was so good. I didn't end up turning my phone off because I did want to see what everyone had to say about it wow everyone was so nice i had messages from a lot of people and i actually was a bit emotional i'm not gonna lie i was sitting in my sister's room and it was just really surreal the response i got the support i got from people that don't even really like aren't obviously my friends support me but people that just know of me messaged me and it was really it was really nice for me it's really encouraging so thank you to everyone that did do that and from this I got some really new good ideas, um, really funny videos upcoming. Hope you're all sitting comfy, got your cups of teas, uh, got your can... Oh no, when did that burn out? <laughs> got your candles lit because I bloody love candles. But yeah, get comfortable and I hope you enjoy this video. So my first makeup product that I absolutely adore, love, this. So this is the number seven youthful CC cream. So if you don't know, number seven is a makeup brand that um, is owned by Boots, it's Boots own makeup brand. So I basically wanted to stop wearing foundation because I, I, I don't know, just hated the way it looked. Tried, I tried so many and it wasn't really a foundation I love. The only foundation I do love is Clarins Everlasting Foundation. That's really beautiful. But I wanted to make a bit lighter, something to put on when I come back from holiday. I don't want to wear a lot of makeup. My friend always bangs on about how good number seven makeup is. I've never got anything from there. I bought this just out of chance. It's it's only £14.50. And if you're a student like me, Boots now do a student discount, which is beautiful. They're also bringing out Morphe. They announced it literally two days ago. They're starting to store Morphe in boot stores and I'm so happy about that. I cannot wait. So this CC cream, it's not cov it's not coverage. It doesn't give you coverage. It gives you just evens out it evens out your skin tone. This is what this is what I've got on now. This is what I wear. Um it's a lot lighter than foundation. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on my face, which is really nice because I hate that feeling when you feel like you just feel all dirty. I get it in the shade medium. When I come from holiday, have like a bit of tan on my face, it is a perfect colour. When I do wear it when I've lost my tan, I do have to bend it in a little bit to my neck. But that's good because I like looking a bit more bronze than I actually am. So yeah, I really recommend this to anyone that doesn't want to wear foundation, that wants a little bit of coverage. I always put concealer over the top of it. So if you are worried because you have bad skin, because I can get really bad skin sometimes, I do just put concealer over the top. Um... And it works fine, it works like a foundation pretty much, but it just feels so much nicer. It's, I feel like more air can get to my skin rather than my skin and pores being clogged up. So yeah, that is my number one foundation slash CC cream, it's not really a foundation, but yeah. So as I just mentioned, I put concealer over the top of the number seven CC cream. Now, this concealer I've had for years, like sometimes I change my makeup up a little bit like I said foundation CC creams maybe highlighters but this fat this concealer I have had I can't even remember for how long so this is the Maybelline Ara magic eraser concealer as you can see it's like really scratched off so you can't even see Maybelline on it but that just shows how long it lasts I use it every single day there are so many shades so it works for everybody everyone who has different skin tones it's just like this, you twist it and it comes out and you just put it under your eye. I use this, I actually use this on my spots. I use concealer to cover up my spots, um, on my blemishes. That is the second product that I absolutely love. I would recommend this to everyone and anyone who doesn't really have a concealer that they absolutely love. I remember Fern McCann put this on her story. Me and my friend was talking about it and I just bought it because like I've said so many times, impulse buyers, I'm very, 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 um, what's the word? someone tells me to get something i'll get it pretty much yeah firm camp on their story years ago and i bought it and i've loved it ever since like absolutely loved it i just need a sip of tea mm. okay so still on the makeup sub subject topic topic 
my favorite bronzer and blush again which i have used for years i have not swapped to other bronzers to other blushes because these two are just my favorite hula by benefit this beauty here has been with me since day dot it looks really dark and it's this people at benefit can't have actually said this to me it scares people off how dark it is they have recently brought out different shades but i just get the original the i think it's the i don't know if it's the darkest one but when you put it on your face it, it's not as dark as it looks i use this to contour i don't use anything else to resist the contour i've never ever used cream contour i've always used this since i've contoured i've just used this hula bronzer that's what i use it for if i need if i don't want to contour that day i just want to quickly smack some makeup and maybe look a bit more bronze i just get a brush and rub it all over my face and it gives you a nice glow nice bronze look blusher this is a mac blush that i can never bloody open no matter how long i've had it for i can't bloody over open it like literally it's like i don't know if it's just because i got my nails back yeah so basically actually talking about the reason why i just said get my nails back it's because i used to always get acrylics and then basically one day i was um me and my boyfriend were mucking around and he caught my acrylic it lifted my nail out from under here like i have videos and pictures evidence of it it was grim i had to go to a and &E. <laughs> i had to go to a and &E and i had to take my whole entire nail off and from then i was like i'm never getting acrylics again that was probably like that was age ago i can't even tell you when it was i've not had acrylics for months and months and months and the other day i got home from holiday and i was like I want long nails so i just went i went and got them to see how long i lasted them until i injure myself because i seem to injure myself every single time i have acrylics anyway <laughs> try to open this again oh god honestly i need to make these things easier to open there we go finally so this blush art is from mac again i cannot actually tell you what shade it is because i've had it for so long and the bottom has all rubbed off if I was in the Mac store, I'd be able to be like, it's that one. But it's just sort of a, it's just sort of a dark, pinkish. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it. Comes out a bit like this. Favorite blusher. Again, I just put a little bit on where I've contoured, just to enhance the contour. But yeah, favorite brush blusher that I have and that I have ever tried. Again, I haven't actually ever tried another blusher because I've had that since. I have started contouring and I've loved it ever since so I couldn't actually tell you anything different right let's get on to one of my favorite favorite makeup products lip gloss I'm not a lipstick girl I don't wear lipstick I don't like lipstick because I feel like it comes off really quickly I don't know if I'm not putting it on right I'm off I'm using rubbish ones but I've tried MAC I've tried all the ones that people rave and rant about and they just don't really stay on my lips and i feel like all i'm constantly doing is checking if my lipstick's still on and i've got to keep reapplying so i just go for the simple sparkly shiny lip gloss but i hate lip glosses that are sticky you know when you're talking and your and they, your lips stick together and when you're talking you actually feel like it's like stringy it it sounds disgusting it's like getting stuck that feels bum but if you're like me and my good friend lauren my best friend lauren we just love sometimes a clear gloss. A clear gloss is just for me sounds really nice. And my favourite one that I've come across is just it's just by Rimmel. I mean, it's not really that clear, but because I've obviously used it on my lips and I've got, had like maybe made like foundation on my lips or something, or I've got it a bit dirty. But it's so smooth and it's not sticky at all. And I really feel like it lasts. It doesn't come off. Lips don't feel like they stick together. We actually told my other friend about this and she went and bought it and thought the same. And I just really like it. And it says up to six hours wear and it has argan oil in it. So it's actually quite moisturizing for your lips. I don't like lip glosses that dry out your lips or lipsticks either. Um, so yeah, that is the lip, my, one of my favorite lip glosses I love. Always trying out new lip glosses. My most recent lip gloss that I'm trying out at the moment is one by Morphe, which I bought in Florida looks really bright but it doesn't come out like this it, it's more like a again it's just more like a glossy color it's just got a little pink tone to it but it's it's i'd say it's more goldy it's 
it's more got a gold tone to it so that's the one i'm trying at the moment i've tried the mac ones and i like the color and the glitteriness glitteriness is that a word it's made up a word okay the glitterness <laughs> how glittery it is that's better um but they're really sticky and i feel like it's really drying out my lips and no don't want dry lips oh my god i've just realized another product saying that, that i cannot live without and if you know me you know i will always have this on me every single bag i own i have about seven of them at a time i carry them to work with me i carry them everywhere they're in my car and i can't believe i've actually forgotten to even mention this product carmex despite the saying i have about seven of them i can't even find one in my room basically carmex i'm pretty sure everyone knows what carmex is i'm going to get a picture up if you don't It's literally about less than three pound. And again, if you're a student, you get a student discount. And I just bloody love it. I don't know what I love about it. It's glossy and it moisturises your lips, protects your lips from sun. I've just had it ever since um, sixth form. I started having it. I started getting actually. And I just really love it. I've always got them on me. People know I've always got them on me because people ask to borrow it from me. Um, but yeah, that's another product that I absolutely love. And I can't actually really tell you why I love it. I just love it. I use it all the time. Might be more of a habit than a love. It's just a habit of putting Carmex on my lips. Always got one in my work apron at work as well. Can't go anywhere without my Carmex. Moving on, we're going to do tanning. Tanning products that I love. The first tanning product that I absolutely love. Dove. Again. A product that has been with me since the beginning since like i'm pretty sure i want to say year seven and i'm now my second year at uni i remember when i first started primary school primary school secondary school i won't make it i weren't wearing fake tan in primary school when i was first in secondary school must have been year seven year eight i felt really pale so mum let me borrow some of her dove tan and i loved it had it ever since it just gives a really nice even even bronze look it does make you look tad and also some nights i don't wear it all the time i only wear it when like at the moment i've just come back from holiday so i feel quite tanned but when i don't want to actually properly fake tan i just want a nice bronze tanned look i use this people put off tinted moisturizers that's what it is a tinted moisturizer I probably should have said that at the beginning because you don't know where you're applying it you don't know what it's going to come out like but i've never really had problems with this it's never come out streaky or patchy i just make sure my skin is well exfoliated before i put it on so it does come out smoothly i do get the medium to dark skin color you can also now get a shimmery one they brought out a shimmery one which is very cute again if you're a student like me you can get this from um i want to say super drug and boots i think it's boots but it might be super drug as well i'm not really sure with student discounts so it ends up just decreasing the price my second tanning product that i absolutely love this is a facial for your face so someone else actually told me about this when i was asking um i was asking a friend if they know any good good face products that make your face tanned because didn't really like i don't like putting moisturizer on my face but like it can make your face go a bit oily my face anyway um so someone told me about this it's called it's by you tan and tone you can buy this from super drug again if you're a student student discount makes it every every little difference um it's the coconut tanning water it is literally just a mist you just spray it like that i spray it on my face just maybe round and in the middle um and you wake up and you have got a glow to your face you have there is a difference um, for a little while I was wearing I was just wearing this instead of makeup. I didn't put makeup on, I was just making my face look a bit more bronze when I was pale. I weren't hadn't just come back from holiday. Comes out really evenly, really smoothly, um every single day, every single night before I went to bed, I'd spray it on my face, wake up next morning a little bit more tanned. Did get to a point where um you know when you can see like around someone's nose they've got fake tan and like those little like dots, it's like all your pores did get to that point but then all i did was scrub it off um and start again do a couple of sprays every night three or four sprays every single night on your face and yeah this is not cheap but not expensive i think it's like 17 pound but again you can get a student discount all right next up products that i absolutely love the fox tans 
wow so they do two different products they do a cream and a spray the cream is you put it on a couple of days before you're exposed to sun that's whether you are going on holiday going for a sunbed you put it on and um, three to five days before you go you then keep topping it up every single evening like on holiday i'd put this on after i have a shower and what it does it increases i don't know the word melanin i don't know the word but it's whatever makes you you tan it increases that so you get tanned quicker then while you're sunbathing you spray this over you and it's like a tanning accelerator i use this 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 year it did really make a difference I felt a lot more tan than I've ever been from my holidays. Um, again, this is not exactly the cheapest thing. Let me find out how much it is. Ew. Okay, this is what I got. I got these these two and this in a watermelon scent. But it had tan, like sparkly in it as well. It's not just a plain one. It's like, it comes like this. Comes in a little pack and that's... 31.99 but again student discount sorts you out so yeah that is another product that i really really love does anybody really care i don't really care that much about a primer is that really a bad thing for me to say i haven't really worn a primer for the whole time i've been doing makeup but one thing i do love to put on before i do do my makeup actually let me rephrase this I used to use it with my Clarins foundation that I mentioned previously and I didn't like it because I felt like it made me go really oily. But that's obviously because the foundation helped that as well. I felt like the foundation made me go a bit oily looking. But I use this with my number seven CC cream and I feel like they both really work well. They both complement each other on my skin anyway. So this is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance and I get it in the shade oh radiant yellow and what it is it's just it's like just a sort of silky cream that i put on just before i put my cc cream on and i feel like it really helps just set a base i didn't like this though with my clarins foundation so no it must work differently i'm not the biggest knowledge of makeup so i may be completely wrong but so yeah, that's the primer thing I use based on my skin. Um, mixed feelings about it though, depends what foundation you wear it with. Now, this next product, it has different opinions. I've seen it on other YouTubers accounts and um, apparently it's really old, not good for your skin. But I love it. My friend Millie, who told me about it, loves it. So I'm going to carry on using it. And I think it helps my skin. So, it's the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. This thing has so much, like, I don't know what they are. Oh, it's that grit. It has so much little exfoliating peb pebbles. Bits. I'm going to say exfoliating bits. Exfoliating bits in it. The way my face is really dry, especially when I come back from holiday, what you do is you wet your face, put it all over your face, just scrub my face while I'm in the shower. I'm not supposed to do that either. I've been told I've been doing that, but I do it anyway. Um, and you just wash it off and it makes your skin feel so smooth. And then this baby goes on top. This is the to tonic water toner. It does actually say skin tonic on it. I want to say toner. Yeah, it says toner on the back, toner. Everything about it, the smell, the the way it makes my skin feel <laughs> is so nice. I, I swear, I cannot film one video without some interruption, a dog barking, a hairdryer, someone knocking on the door. It's going to happen a lot, but oh my God, this thing smells, oh, beautiful. Just twist the noddle. Twist the nozzle, can't speak. Grandad, come on, can you just lower your voice a little bit for me, please? It feels so smooth, absolutely just love it. I've had this again for years. 
it also lasts long which i cannot understand because i use it every single time pretty much every day and for some reason it lasts so long again you can get this from boots i think this is a little bit more pricey than your typical drugstore one by like a brand that simple so this is 16 pounds from boots minus one pound 60 if you're a student so it's a bit more pricey than your normal tonic water oh, I keep saying tonic water. toner from a simple drugstore brand but they also do sets they've also got um this the cleanser the cleansing polish i do like the cleanse like the cleansing cream but i just love the st ives exfoliating scrub so i just use that with this um i have I do love this. I have, I did use this for a little while until I come across the St. Ives scrub. Okay, and my final product slash cosmetic that I absolutely adore is, I think every single girl loves this product. If they like makeup like me. It's the Fix Plus Spray from MAC. So this is my first video. I have the gold one. It has like shimmers of gold going through it so it makes you feel glowy they've actually they always just used to do the plain like fix plus spray and now they bring out all these different scents and different glows i really love this i feel like it really complements your makeup at the end i feel like it does make a difference but it's it's like a hidden difference like it, i feel like it makes my makeup last longer i used to use this ages and ages ago and then i stopped using it i don't really know why i stopped using it my friends have always used it even when i haven't used it my sister then bought the new gold one and i tried hers and i loved it so i went out and bought my own one um you just shake it and then spray it i've done it in my first video that shows how much i absolutely love it so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i have got a lot more content coming um i would love suggestions from people if there's certain things you want to see you can comment below please like subscribe spread the word to everyone thank you so much for the support i've received so far again and i hope you all have a lovely week a lovely day a lovely evening whatever the time is i'll see you later thank you very much goodbye